Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. In this video, we are diving deep into the exciting and rapidly growing field that is cloud engineering. For those who didn't watch our last video discussing the five most in-demand tech roles for 2024, let me give you a little spoiler alert. Cloud engineering proudly claims a spot on that list. Whether you're looking to start your tech journey or are eyeing a career shift, I'm here to break down the exact steps you need to take to become a successful cloud engineer in 2024. Let's get into it. Now, before anything else, what exactly is a cloud engineer? If you know this already, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps below, but if not, I'm gonna do a quick rundown. A cloud engineer is a tech professional who specializes in cloud computing. This means they work with online virtual technology, the cloud, where data and applications are stored and accessed over the internet. In simple terms, these engineers are responsible for setting up and managing this cloud space. They build the virtual environment where websites and applications operate. Their tasks include creating cloud networks, ensuring robust security, and maintaining systems to make sure they're running efficiently. Now that we know what the position entails, let's go over some of the most popular questions I get from people entering this field. Question number one, how much money can I expect to make as a cloud engineer? Cloud engineers on average make around $132,000 a year, according to ZipRecruiter. However, the salary can vary based on a couple different factors like your location, your experience level, and your specific skills in cloud technologies. Also, keep in mind that gaining expertise in certain in-demand cloud areas or simply gaining more certifications can lead to a higher salary, which is why it's vital to continuously learn and stay updated with the latest advancements in cloud computing. Question number two, do I need a degree to become a cloud engineer? Not necessarily. Many companies now value skills from boot camp certifications and self-learning just as much as they do a formal degree which is why major cloud providers offer certifications like the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, Google Associate Cloud Engineer, and Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. In today's era, practical know-how often trumps formal education. Question number three, how long does it take to become a cloud engineer? It varies, but with focused learning, you can get there faster. For example, our AWS Cloud Practitioner course and our AWS Solutions Architect course offer 23 hours of content covering key concepts. Add some basic programming like Python and you're looking at around 60 to 70 hours of study total. But remember, everyone's learning is different, so time can vary from person to person. Now that we've covered some popular Q&As, let's talk about the five steps you need to take to become a cloud engineer. Step number one, learn cloud fundamentals. Begin your journey by targeting the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. This is your entry point into cloud technologies. And guess what? You don't need any prior coding experience. If you don't know where to learn this stuff, like I mentioned before, we have a complete course that will cover absolutely everything and will help you ace this exam. You can check that out in the description down below. Step number two, advanced training. After you've mastered the basics, it's time to level it up by setting your sights on becoming an AWS solutions architect. This is a role that represents a significant boost in complexity as well as earning potential. And when I say earning potential, I truly do mean it. Qualified candidates can command up to $260,000 or more. Step number three, learn a programming language. Acquiring foundational knowledge in a programming language is not just beneficial, but it's essential in the field of cloud engineering. Python and JavaScript are particularly recommended due to their widespread use and relevance in various cloud-related tasks, but ultimately the choice is up to you. Step number four, get hands-on experience. This step is crucial. Build personal projects, find freelance gigs, seek internships, do whatever it takes to put yourself out there, whether it's creating YouTube tutorials or teaching your friend what you just learned. What's that saying? The best way to learn is to teach. Step number five, apply for jobs. Tech interviews can be rigorous. 
Focus not only on your technical skills, but your soft skills as well, and practical experience like we mentioned earlier. Also, be ready to showcase your projects in detail if needed, because the last thing you want is an interviewer to ask you a question and you don't have a response to provide. And there you have it. Hopefully now you can see just how impactful and achievable a career in cloud engineering is, especially when you have the right game plan. If you found this video helpful, please drop it a like, it really helps us out. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. One last thing I want you to remember is it's not just about learning. It's about turning that learning into action. Stay on your grind and always believe in yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.